I need to tell you something that sounds fake but is 100% real. The difference between a profitable cattle operation and a failing one often comes down to just three feeding times. That's it. Not the feed quality, not the breed, not the pasture. It's when you feed. I met a rancher last month who was about to quit the business. He was losing money on every single head of cattle. Then he changed his feeding schedule based on cattle metabolism science, and within 60 days, his profit margin doubled. Doubled. But here's the thing nobody talks about. Feeding at the wrong time actually triggers a stress hormone in cattle that blocks weight gain. You could be feeding premium supplements and still losing money. I'm going to show you the exact three-time feeding window that smart ranchers use to maximize appetite and muscle growth and why feeding outside these windows is literally burning your money. Let me start with what most ranchers get completely wrong. They feed whenever it's convenient for them, usually once a day around mid-morning because that's when they're already doing other chores. Makes sense, right? Wrong. Cattle have a circadian rhythm just like humans, and their digestive system operates on a biological clock that determines when nutrients are absorbed most efficiently. When you ignore this clock, you're creating metabolic chaos inside your herd. Here's what happens inside a cow's body when you feed at the wrong time. Cortisol, the stress hormone, spikes. This hormone literally tells the body to store fat instead of building muscle. And guess what? Fat doesn't sell for premium prices. Lean muscle does. So every time you feed outside the optimal window, you're training your cattle's bodies to do the exact opposite of what makes you money. Now, the first critical feeding time is early morning, between 5 and 7 a.m. And I know what you're thinking, that's too early. I'm not waking up at 5 a.m. to feed cattle. But listen to why this matters. Cattle naturally wake up and start moving at dawn. Their metabolism kicks into high gear, their rumen is empty from overnight, and their insulin sensitivity is at its peak. This is the golden window when every pound of feed converts into maximum muscle growth. Research from cattle nutrition scientists shows that cattle fed during this window have 23% better feed conversion rates compared to those fed at 10 a.m. 23%. That's the difference between profit and loss right there. But here's the mistake even ranchers who feed early make. They dump all the feed at once. Big error. Cattle are grazing animals designed to eat small amounts throughout the day, not gorge once and sit around. When you overload their rumen in one feeding, fermentation goes haywire, pH drops, acidosis risk shoots up, and nutrient absorption crashes. You're literally wasting feed that passes through undigested. The second feeding time smart ranchers never skip is mid-afternoon, between 2 and 4 p.m. This is when cattle hit their second metabolic peak. Their rumen has processed the morning feed. They're ready for more and their energy levels need a boost to sustain muscle protein synthesis. Think of it like this. If you only ate breakfast and skipped lunch, your body would start breaking down muscle for energy by dinner time. Same thing happens with cattle. Without that afternoon feeding, they start cannibalizing their own muscle tissue to maintain body functions, and all your morning feeding efforts go to waste. Here's something almost nobody knows. Cattle body temperature rises in the afternoon, which increases their metabolic rate. If you time your feeding to match this natural temperature spike, nutrient uptake increases by up to 18%. That's free money you're leaving on the table if you're not feeding during this window. Now, the third feeding time is the one most ranchers completely ignore, and it's costing them thousands. Evening feeding, between 7 and 8.30 p.m. I can already hear the pushback. That's way too late. It's dark. It's inconvenient. But hear me out. Cattle are ruminants, which means they continue digesting and fermenting feed overnight. When you give them a small feeding right before their resting period, you're providing their rumen microbes with fuel to work all night long. This overnight fermentation is when the magic happens, when volatile fatty acids are produced, when microbial protein synthesis peaks, when muscle growth actually occurs while they sleep. A study done at a major agricultural university tracked two identical herds over 90 days. One herd got fed twice a day at random times. The other got fed three times following this exact schedule. The three-time feeding group gained an average of 42 pounds more per head. 
At current market prices, that's an extra $300 to $400 per animal. Multiply that by your herd size and you'll understand why smart ranchers protect these feeding times like their livelihood depends on it, because it does. But timing alone isn't enough. You need to understand portion distribution. This is where most people mess up even if they get the timing right. The early morning feeding should be your largest portion, about 45% of total daily feed. This fuels their most active period and maximizes that peak insulin sensitivity. The afternoon feeding should be about 35%, maintaining energy and preventing muscle catabolism. The evening feeding should be the smallest, about 20%, just enough to fuel overnight rumen fermentation without overloading their system before rest. And here's a critical detail, water availability. Make sure cattle have access to clean, fresh water at least 30 minutes before each feeding. Hydration primes the rumen for digestion. Cattle that drink before eating have better saliva production, which buffers rumen pH and prevents acidosis. It's a small detail that compounds into major health and weight gain advantages. Now let me address the biggest objection. This sounds like too much work. I get it, three feedings a day feels overwhelming especially if you're managing a ranch solo or with limited help. But here's the reality check. You're already spending time feeding your cattle, you're just doing it inefficiently. Splitting your feeding into three strategic windows doesn't triple your workload, it redistributes it, and the return on that time investment is massive. Plus, once you systematize it, it becomes routine. Set alarms, use automatic feeders if your budget allows, or hire part-time help just for feeding times the increased profit will more than cover any additional labor costs. Another common mistake, feeding the same amount regardless of weather or season. Your feeding schedule should flex with temperature changes. During extreme heat, cattle eat less during the day and more in cooler evening hours. Adjust your portions accordingly. Shift more feed to the evening during summer months. In winter, they need more morning feed to generate body heat throughout cold days. Smart ranchers read their cattle and adapt. One more thing that separates profitable ranchers from struggling ones, consistency. Cattle thrive on routine. Their digestive systems anticipate feeding times and prepare accordingly. When you feed at random times, you create digestive stress, suppress appetite, and reduce gains. But when you feed the same three times every single day, their bodies sync up, enzymes are ready, rumen microbes are primed, and every feeding becomes maximally efficient. So let me give you the exact action plan. Starting tomorrow, set your alarm for 5.30 a.m. Give your herd their first feeding, 45% of daily ration. At 3 p.m., deliver the second feeding, 35% of daily ration. At 8 p.m., finish with the final feeding, 20% of daily ration. Do this every single day for 60 days and track your results. Weigh your cattle now, weigh them again in two months, and watch the difference. If you found this information valuable, do me a favor. Subscribe to Biggest Bulls and Cow right now. We're building a community of ranchers who refuse to accept mediocrity, who want real science-based strategies that increase profits and improve herd health. Drop a comment below telling me what your current feeding schedule looks like and whether you're ready to make this change. And if you know another rancher who needs to hear this, share this video with them. We rise together, one herd, one strategy, one feeding schedule at a time. Let's make your ranch more profitable starting today.